No more changing vectors. Hello, me again, Flash Notion, the Ponified Talking Head, back with another reaction video. And this time we're watching episode 9 of season 8, the Non-Compete Clause. Um... Now, even before I saw any images about this one, I had suspected that this was going to be a Rainbow Dash and Applejack episode because that is pretty much the only thing that makes sense. The two of them are always competing, and in this case, they have to not compete. So, yeah. Um, but as for why they're not competing, the images that I've seen uh, all center around the school, so I have to... I feel like it's something like they have to work together for the sake of the students. Maybe we'll be seeing much more of the students in this one. I don't really know what their involvement's going to be. I don't actually know, like, what the conflict is, other than the fact they can't be competing with each other. Um, my brain is kind of shorted out right now because of stuff that's been going on uh, that you guys probably won't be seeing for a while that I've reacted to, but... I've reacted to it, and my brain is kind of shorted out because of it. Um, I'm not really sure how this reaction is going to go, uh, and what all I'm going to say. I might be a little bit more hysterical than usual this time, like in the original meaning of it, in that I'm going to act a little bit crazier, or I might be more subdued. I don't really know. I hope it's the first one, because if it's the first one, <laughs> I'll be talking more and Hasbro will be less likely to block the video. Um, yeah. So, I won't know until I watch the episode, so let's watch the episode. And we'll be starting the episode in 3, 2, 1, play. Hey, Rainbow. That's cool. Oh, she's she's late for class, isn't she? Aw, poor Yona. That was probably her book report. There you go. <laughs> uh, what's she late for? You... Did I miss the teacher of the month announcement? You're just in time. But cool. Be me, oh. Wait, is there like a non-competition clause in their, uh... Teacher of the month is... Fluttershy. Yep. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh my. I don't know how I keep winning. <laughs> oh my god. Because she's awesome. <laughs> oh, and that little bit of red eye in that picture, and it's the same one every time. And there's a trophy this time? Okay, so it's going to be a competition to see who can win the students' hearts. Oh, no. This is going to be bad. Oh, dear. He's like, I can't even reach over the top. It's so big. My God. So basically, gym class. <laughs> oh my God. That's not what she means, Pinky. No. Oh. Okay. I mean, and working outdoors, I mean, makes sense. Yeah. You're not saying fancy flying makes you a better choice than me. Uh, I love episodes where a character gets to talk to themselves. Just like Ashley Ball doing both of these voices is awesome. Yeah. Oh my god, that's why Flourish is the best teacher, because he just states the simple solution quietly in the background. Oh my god, I love sarcastic Pinkie Pie. She's the best thing ever. She's She hardly ever gets the chance. And I can't... That Fluttershy image in the background just repeated so many times. Wait, how many months has it been? Somebody count up all of those. Like, I can't see them all. The two of them are... Oh my god. Oh my god. My little... 
Little Pony, my little pony, ha ah, 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 my little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be, my little pony, and you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, tons of fun, a beautiful heart, faithful and strong, sharing kindness, it's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete to have my... Do you know you are my very best friend? Right, so this is going to be a very straightforward episode. I don't think there's anything else to speculate. Hi, students! Apparently you guys are the only important students in the entire classes. Like, Kim, Bear, Jansen, I don't know. <laughs> and, wow. What did she just trip on? Head mare, that just why is that something that they say? I don't know. I, I guess headmistress and headmaster are like hard to Oh my god. This is this is exploitable very much. Just like the gifts that could be made and whatnot. And what teamwork activity do you two have planned for today? They have not even figured it out. What? We get to do both? I mean, that's exactly what your teachers had in mind. Oh my god, Twilight's just <laughs> seeing through the bullshit. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Every creature, what the hell did Applejack just say? Were those even words? Like, seriously, DWK. Like, <sighs> Rainbow Dash, element of loyalty. You can do this. <laughs> Your ass. I'm sorry. Why did I say that? But, like, they're walking right behind her. So, I mean, apples. Grass. Manure. Fun. Oh. Applejack, are you trying to get them to do your chores for you? That's, that's some BS. Not every pony would know that, Rainbow Dash. Just teacher of the month kind of ponies. Whatever. Let's just get the <laughs> oh my God. To my and they're just like, uh, we see what's going on here. And wow, hooves are really useful. But so are claws. So. Aw, that's adorable. That's it. Measure twice and cut once. Haste makes waste. Slow and steady. Emphasis on the yeah, you're not helping, AJ. What the hell? Is she assembling that in mid-air? Um... I mean, it's like... It sort of works, but. Oh, sorry, can't hear you. Too busy practicing my teacher of the month pose. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Before they're snapped, Rainbow Dash. Oh my God. These students are totally gonna vote for a teacher who gets things done. No, they're gonna vote for a teacher. They're gonna vote for the teacher who's the most fun and the most likable, which you two aren't either right now. I love Smolder too. Smolder and Pinky are both great. And yeah, Dash, yours looks like crap. Theirs looks awesome. Steady. Steady. Take her nice and slow. A little to the left. A hair to the right. Okay, you can lower it a bit more. Okay, I'm gonna agree with. Just bring it down already. Ah! Eh. Okay, Rainbow Dash, you screwed up there, but I'm I'm gonna agree that it was I'll give you slow. You know, still klutzy though. Like her hair makes her trip left soften, but she's still klutzy. Teacher. Follow me. Last one to the stream 
was a rotten apple shed. Okay, that's pretty cool right there. Dash in a helmet and whoa, that's a big canoe. We need to get to the finish line before this alarm goes off. That means you got to move fast. Nice. Ah, Lasellus is adorable. <laughs> you really think winning some canoeing record is going to get you that teacher of the month trophy? I mean, it could. Sure winning competitions is always something that students like to do, so. It's still going to be Fluttershy at this point, you guys, because, like, you're both. Yeah. Oh, Yona's scared of the water. Sometimes, when I'm scared to try something new, I whistle. Oh my god, that's ridiculous and adorable. We got you, Yona. Gals, stop touching her butt. Hey, I see it. Twilight's gonna give that teaching trophy to a teacher, not a racer. Wait, I see it. It's it's, it's already been said. It's whoever the students vote for, which means that they gotta. Oh my god. Yeah, that is the better way to do it. So, when do we get to the part when we move? Um every creature starts listening to me, the leader of my activity. You're going in the wrong direction, you idiots. <laughs> now stroke. Are they going to start spinning? No, no, they're actually going forward. Wow. Holy crap. That's hard. Like, none of them are... Oh my god, Silverstream. <laughs> Through the freaking piranhas?! The bite a cuda fish? Oh, yeah. That's not good. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just thinking of uh, trailer uses for that. Explo a, bo a boat exploding against a <laughs> rock. Of course she's okay with it because she's got, um... Yona's lost her life jacket. That's not good. Silverstream, you can turn into a fish. Yona can't swim. She's scared of water. Whoa! Ah, that's cool! She can turn into a sea pony at will, of course, and she's got the thing... That's so cool! Uh, Ocellus shape shifting into a sea pony is now my new favorite thing. Gee, I wonder who needs the actual friendship lesson here. <laughs> yeah, it's been like this all day. It's been like this for the past eight years. Oh my god. <laughs> All the students are freaking great. I can't believe this. Their personalities and whatnot. It's You're competing with each other. I yep. You were past that. Nope. 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 It's so much fun. Sometimes. The teacher of the month wouldn't care about being the teacher of the month. I know Fluttershy would be thrilled to see another pony win. That's it. I'm taking over this field trip. Okay. I like seeing leader Twilight here. Oh my god, shut up, you two. You're so annoying sometimes. <laughs> like, I, I know I like talk them talking to each other, but the bullshit is too thick. Applejack should definitely be teacher of the month. Hmm, maybe you two have learned something after all. 
How to lie. Another chance at the teacher of the field trip? Well, come on, Twilight. We get it. Yeah, I get it too. You you two are just absolute great bullshitters for the pony of honesty there or, and whatnot. Okay. No pony could possibly argue over that, right? Running of the leaves, anyone? <laughs> like they're gonna turn into a race, totally. Wait, where are they gonna walk through? Are they gonna walk through the Everfree Forest or what? Oh my god. Why not ask the students what they want for once? Like, don't act like they're just kids. I mean, they are kids, but like, don't act like they don't have voices and whatnot. <sighs> yes, speak up, someone. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're all just so done with the teachers here. Oh my god. That part where you're just like... <laughs> so satisfying, I bet. Like, wait, what, what did he just notice? What the? Okay, we haven't had, a, like, a thing for that right there in a while. Okay, somebody, uh... He's noticing that they're going in the same area, circles. I think we've gone in the same circle five times. And now we're on top of a cliff. Some ponies won't make up their minds about which way to go. Do you want to keep going in a circle, Applejack? Up to you, right? Oh, my God! They're so busy trying not to get into an argument that they're just not accomplishing anything. <laughs> That's... Good point. Okay, there's the... Holy crap, they're far away. Well, you got plenty of flyers, so some every flyer grab a non-flyer or two flyers. You have multiple flyers. Exactly. You have a, ja a yak that's going to take at least two flyers to get over. We'll build a bridge. What do we use? Bridge. Vines. Vines. Branches. I'm going with your idea. Vines. No buts about it. I'm building with your idea. Branches. End of story. Ugh. This is frustrating for me in the same way that it's frustrating for the students. And that... You need both. You need structure and you need things to hold it together. Hmm, I agree. Wow, Rainbow Dash, yours is so rickety and Applejack, yours is so easy to snap. Applejack? Or... Rainbow Dash, save Applejack. Why didn't I think of branches to begin with? They're so unstable. Easy to work with. Okay, uh, they are both legitimately in life-threatening danger right now, kind of. Well, not, not, not Rainbow Dash. 
Okay, now they're both in life-threatening danger because Rain Dash can't... Oh my god, it's freaking Pirates of the Caribbean thing. <sighs> kind of. Yeah, they're both afraid to die. <laughs> also, they fucked up. Oh, hey, nice. <laughs> Is that an Emperor's New Groove reference? That's what it sounded like to me. <laughs> oh my god, Gallus! Oh my god! Here we go. Lesson in teamwork. They're gonna learn. Neither of them should win the whole uh, thing there. Oh, they have like wing type fins that allow them to jump. This whole mess is kinda our fault. Yeah, think! No trophy is worth getting eaten over. Yeah, think! Unless it's like a trophy for getting eaten, and like you're getting eaten by something that's big enough to not chew you up. Uh Don't worry, I'm just the distraction. I mean that's kind of cute, but I don't like it at the same time. Yeah, that would make me run crying too. Yep. Okay, what did Yona and the others do? Or are they gonna break it apart? Okay. I mean, you could burn it too. But that works as well. Welcome back, professors. Now that was a rescue. And y'all did it together. Asala still isn't back yet. Might want to uh, wait. Those fish weren't even a thing. Sorry. Oh my god, it's it's still so weird, but cute kind of. Uh, her relentless positivity is nice, but sometimes slightly annoying. How was the field trip? What did awful! Uh, that yeah. We are awful teachers! <laughs> wow. Yeah, they almost died and we got to save their lives! It was fun! Yeah, that's a much easier to just fly home. But instead, our professors built bridges the wrong way just to show us how important teamwork is. Right, that's totally what they were doing. No, it's too early to pick the teacher of the month. But we'd like you to consider Rainbow Dash and Applejack. Thank you for telling me. I'm so glad to hear your feelings. And she I hope they don't show a picture at the end of them. Because I want Twilight to just turn to them and be like, I know what happened. You were just competing the entire time, weren't you? To tell you the truth, yeah. Well, yes! I love it. I'll be with you for the whole nature walk. Only because you were angling for that Teacher of the Month award. You were the one oh my god. <laughs> just walk away, Twilight. That is perfectly, that is like a perfectly good response right there. I like it. It's like just it's it's good for the interactions between the students, and that's pretty much all it needs. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna like take five minutes and eat a snack because I'm kind of hungry, and then I'm gonna come back with some thoughts. Okay, okay, let's do that. And I'm back. So, Dash and AJ's competitiveness is something that has come up a few times before in the series. First in Fall Weather Friends, and later on in... What was the episode here? Castlemania. And I don't remember if it came up any time between them, but it's plain that it's a recurring thing. They have competitions with each other, sometimes absolutely ridiculous competitions... 
for no real reason other than to say who's the winner. And I think that really works for the two of them. Just they're both such extremely tomboyish characters that it works. They compete and they remain friends because of that. Or like in spite of it, whatever. Um, but one thing I'd like to make extremely clear here about this episode is that the only reason why their competitiveness was an issue in this episode is because they let it get in the way of their jobs. And I do have some experience with letting things get in the way of my jobs, but that is a personal anecdote that I'm actually not going to share this time because it's only very tangentially related to the issue. It's not an issue of competitiveness. It's something completely different. So I'd like to just focus in on Dash and AJ and what their problem was here. And specifically, the fact that the problem wasn't really resolved. Um, You have their competitive natures... And that's just a part of who they are. At no point did Twilight say, Hey, I'm okay with you two having competitions for fun. Just don't do it when you're supposed to be doing a job. That didn't happen. And to be honest, it really should. But, I mean, it's not necessarily... Like, Twilight... Bleh, words. (laughs) Uh, Twilight doesn't necessarily know that that is the root issue here. She doesn't necessarily realize because Twilight by herself is not necessarily a competitive person. She's willing to acknowledge other people's achievements very easily and willing to give them praise for it. In fact, she's sometimes willing to give out praise that they technically haven't earned, if only to make them feel better. Such as with Trixie in, um, what was it? No Second Princes. Uh, telling her that Twilight couldn't have done that trick. Obviously, she could have, but it made Trixie feel better. So, Twilight is perfectly willing to give up her pride in that sense. Matter of fact, I'm trying to think of a time when Twilight did have an issue with pride, pride, and I can't really come up with one. She's had some issues with stubbornness before, certainly, and with being set in a way, an idea... Somebody on a motorcycle outside. But uh, Twilight's never really had an issue with pride, I don't think. And, like, the only time we've seen her enter into something that could be considered a competition was the running of the leaves, which was also a cultural thing, not just a competition. She placed fifth based on, or what I think she placed fifth anyways. Might have been something else, I don't know. But she placed... um, pretty high she got a little metal because of some advice she'd gotten in a book which was basically like don't make it about the actual competition the more you strive to compete the worse it's gonna be here you know um and competitiveness is an issue that we've seen with both of these characters uh not just like between themselves but like against others as well um it kind of came up in uh last no not last season was it last season was it last season i don't think it was last season no, it was the season. It was in season six with uh, Cart before the ponies, and Rarity kind of got involved there too. Um, so all three of those, them, like they all kind of have a competitive edge to themselves that other ponies kind of lack. Uh, and you see that just all the time with the characters there, um, and. A lot of this, like, it it would kind of be in the same category as, like, Fluttershy not learning her lesson about being bold, except for the fact that Fluttershy being overly shy has been demonstrated to be a problem in multiple areas of her life, and therefore eradicating that problem takes a lot of time and effort and whatnot. Here, it's not really so much of a problem unless it gets involved with their work, and... I just can't overstate that enough. If it, it doesn't matter what you're doing. If what you're doing is interfering with the productivity of you, like you doing your job, if it's interfering with that, stop it as much as you can. Just strive to make that not an issue because it will get noticed. If something is affecting your productivity, it will get noticed. And not everybody is nice enough to have a, a boss that will 
give them second chances, tell them, hey, I noticed what's going on here, let's try and fix it. Sometimes you'll just have a boss that's going to be like, no, you're fired. Go away. Like that, that could happen. And we're lucky here that in this case, like they're all friends. So Twilight's going to, of course, try and make it not an issue. I do think, though, that Twilight, like acknowledging the issue at the end was the best part because she recognized that the students were like this. Either the students were mistaken or the students were covering for them. And I can't really tell which Um, it could be both. It could be a combination of both. Like, some of the students... Like, I, I think Yona would be able to believe that, maybe. Um, but... And maybe even Acellus wouldn't really get that the other students are kind of covering for them. So she'd just kind of go along with the story. But Gallus and Sandbar, I'm almost certain, would be... They understand and they're just bullshitting. Um, but the, the fact that the students bullshit better than AJ and... Rainbow Dash themselves did. Well, I mean, it makes sense they'd be better than AJ because she's like doesn't tell lies very often. By the way, AJ was lying in this episode to Twilight straight up. Um, just nobody should ever be able to say that AJ doesn't lie anymore. I, I can't imagine what Apple Geek's reaction to that is going to be, but I imagine it's going to be fucking great. Uh, anyways... The students just bullshitting there at the end was fun. But then, like, I can imagine a situation like that in a show where it's just like, oh, well, then Twilight takes their picture and they both get up on the wall and it's like, yeah, they were awesome. And they were just like, nobody can ever find out that we didn't actually, you know, do that. Um, But that wasn't what happened here. In, In this case, it was like, okay, the students go off and Twilight's like, yeah, okay, I'll let them have that. And then she turns to Dash and AJ and she's just like, I know they were bullshitting. I know you guys were bullshitting. This was just a crap ton of bullshit. Knock it off. And they're just like, yeah, okay. But like, and then they immediately go back into it. And she just sighs and she's just like, fuck my life. I'm over this. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> and walks away. I I have a feeling she, like the next day, she'll talk to them about it again when she's a bit more collected. And she can actually like think because it's it's pretty clear like that's the end of the day and she's probably had a hard day so yeah um other than that like that that's the most important thing in my mind um but the other thing is like actually just looking at the students this is the first episode since the premiere that we've had a significant amount of time with the student 6 and getting them talking to each other and whatnot and this is great i really like it showing off uh that, like, more specifically, I've seen some criticism of the premiere that when they fix Yona's hair, they fix her only personality trait. And it's just like, the fuck are you talking about? Obviously, it doesn't matter wh- whether she has the hair down or not. She's still a klutz. That's her personality trait. It's not that she's always tripping over her hair. It's that she's a klutz. And they showed that here within, like, the first five minutes. I don't know what she tripped on, but she did trip. And it's clear. She's still a klutz. Um... And the others are still pretty well there as well, like, in character and everything as well. It's all, like, there's nothing major here. There's no major character development on any of their parts. Um, It's all just keeping them pretty much the same as they were for now because we're not, like, having episodes focused in on changing who they are or anything, helping them grow too much. Um, Quite honestly, it really seems like the six of them have learned how to be friends now. Uh, I I do think that kind of undermines the whole premise of the friendship school a little bit because, like, our main students here already have the friendship part down and there's nothing else that the school really seems to be teaching them. So I don't really know what's what the thing here is. Like, all, like our student six all trust one another and, like... Whenever any one of them takes the lead, the others are just like, yeah, okay, let's see where this goes. We haven't seen any infighting among them yet, and I'd really like to get to that at some point. See some internal conflict with the student six, um, as opposed to the main six. And honestly, I feel like you could have had that a little bit here, where it's like, well, they each, like, three of them take the each of the teacher's sides, and you got a little bit of a civil war going on here. Um, a bit similar to... Uh, once again, was it last season? 
uh, yeah, Marks and Recreation, where it was like, okay, Key Mark Crusaders versus Rumble and the going back and forth there, but this would be more of a split down the middle. Um, like, you got AJ with... Um, well, okay, let's start with Dash. Like, Team Dash would probably get Gallus and Silverstream and... Hmm. Maybe... I don't know, like... Uh, probably not Yona because she was fear- so afraid of the water. Um, probably not Acellus. I'm So Acellus and Yona go over to Team Applejack. Uh, Sandbar and freaking Smolder. Um, I'm going to go with Sandbar to Applejack's side and Smolder to Dash's side. So there you go. You got like two little teams there. You could have had like a little bit of a civil war. Like which one are they choosing? Like who's doing it better? That sort of thing. Um, but that obviously wasn't the point of the episode here. But I feel like something like that should come up in a future episode where it's just like split the student six down the middle. They're having a disagreement between them and we have to resolve that or something. Um, it, it I think that really needs to be, excuse me, an issue because if it's not an issue, then there's no real point to the friendship school, is there? Um, there's no real point to the student six and them being around if they're not having an internal conflict of some kind or even an external conflict of some kind where they're actually learning something like it's pretty clear that they're not learning they're just using what they already know which is not like what the heck um so just that's a little bit of like a wasted potential type thing that i can understand some people like getting upset about because like they just aren't willing to give it a chance to grow here um, I think it lies in the same vein of how long did it take us to get CMC episodes that didn't involve the main six at all. Uh, like, I think the first one was hard to... No, the first one was in season six, where we had On Your Marks, no main six whatsoever. And, like... I. Uh, no, the fault in our cue marks had Twilight, so that's the thing. Um, was there another one in between there that was CMC? I don't see it on the list here. Uh, but if we look at Season 7, like, we did get a couple others here with No Main 6, like, uh, like, on your, like, Marks and Recreation there. But... For the most part, like, how just how long did it take us to get episodes where it was, like, the CMCs all on their own, no main six, and even now it's still a very uncommon thing, to the point where the CMC episode from this season, um, here, season eight here, w- was uh, Surf and or Turf, and that one had Twilight be, a, be in it for no real reason. So, yeah, I mean, you just, you, you can't really... Like, say that, oh, we need to have the student six appear all on their own with their own conflict, like, right away, and just expect that to happen, because, like, we've had the CMC since pretty much day one, and yet it took six seasons for them to get an episode where it's just them by themselves. So, I I mean, I do think that it should be a thing, but you have to look at it as, like, well, maybe they need to be built up in the background a little bit more or something. Give some people time to understand them. And I'm looking for something to click here because I'm running out of things to talk about. And I'm looking for something to tell me, hey, here's what else you can talk about. <sighs> but, no, I I did like uh, the Student Six in this here. And re-cementing that I, I'm pretty sure Silverstream, uh, Smolder, and freaking Acellus are my top three and the others are good too the others are great as well but I'm pretty sure that it's Silverstream then Smolder then Ocellus are my favorites like in that order Ocellus is number one um like that that was reversed order like number three number two number one countdown wise like 
just spell it out for you. Silverstream is my third favorite, then Smolder is my second favorite, and then Ocellus is my absolute favorite. She's just so freaking adorable, and her shape-shifting abilities are so cool, and the way she looks at the sea pony is absolutely freaking adorable. Her trunk does look a little bit too long, but I think that's just the angle. Um, like, all sea ponies would look like that from that angle. So, yeah, it's just a thing. Um, but just the fact that she was so quick to turn into a sea pony like that is awesome and just seeing her just seeing the way that she uses her shape-shifting powers so often like we don't have a lot of changelings using their shape-shifting powers in useful ways previously it was mostly just as a disguise um the only one who actually we saw use shape-shifting powers offensively what like as an offensive capability was uh, I I want to I want to call him Frank because that's what DWK calls him because I can't remember what his actual name is. <laughs> Pharynx, there we go. Pharynx did that, but none none of the others really did. I mean, sort of uh, with not Steve, not Steve, Thorax turning into a bear uh, in Triple Threat, but. Really, we just don't get changelings using their shape-shifting abilities all that often in all that many impressive ways. It's It has mostly been for disguises, and so Acellus just really brings that element in there, and she just uses her, her abilities so well and so often. I really, really like it. Um, and that fish at the end just... God, it's so creepy, but at the same time, so so freaking adorable. It perfectly encapsulates the feeling of ugly cute as a trope, and I love it. And so, yeah, other than that, um, the episode as a whole did kind of drag out a little bit just because I hate seeing the characters who are supposed to be best friends fighting. Um... Like, with the Student Six, I could have stood it, withstood it because, like, they're new and we haven't seen them fight before. But we've seen AJ and Dash compete before. And so it's just kind of, like, a little bit of a cringe thing. But on the whole, it was a perfectly passable episode. I really wish I could have turned that into a much longer alliteration. But whatever. Um, I'd put it probably on a little bit less than last week's episode but above fake it till you make it. So, other than that, like, I don't really know what else to say here. It doesn't cross off anything on my bingo card here, which is, like, unfortunate here. Um, but, whatever. Uh, just all around, it was a decent episode, nothing too spectacular, but it brought us back to Student 6, and was generally somewhat entertaining in a lot of ways. I don't know what I'm going to use for my thumbnail, but I'm sure I'm going to stumble across a meme face somewhere. Or two, or three, or four. (laughs) Uh, That Fluttershy one. And the fact that it's like every single time he Spike takes her picture, that's what comes up. (laughs) Why Why do they even bother taking the picture after like the first three times they should have been like, oh... Yeah, okay, we, we, we can just copy-paste it. <laughs> but that uh, does remind me of something that I mentioned early-ish in the episode, but didn't really bring up until now. Um, but Fluttershy's been basically employee of the month for how many, like, every single month. So by counting up the number of months that, or the number of pictures that are on the wall there like it was monthly right i'm gonna have to just give me a second here i have to re check on that and fast forward through rainbow dash's cool flying teacher of the month right so uh because it's teacher of the month we can count the number of flourish eyes on the wall and determine how many months the friendship school has been officially opened and I'm guessing it is a lot. I mean, I didn't even look right there, but I really should have. I'm just going to really quick try and look here. And I'm just going to actually pause it here and see how long, how many it is, how many I can see. 
Okay, guys, get ready to have your mind blown by this, if, unless you've heard it from somebody else already, but there are t- there are nine pictures on the wall, and Fluttershy just got her picture taken for that 10th. It has been 10 months, canonically, since the school opened. Holy crap, guys. I mean, it kind of fits. Like, we're nine episodes in, so if each episode basically covers, like, a month, that, that, that works. Um... Well, not quite because it's, you know, 10 months here. But still, that's pretty cool. I also love that this is apparently the faculty lounge that they're in, just looking around at it. Like, obviously, Rarity decorated this main area here with all these couches and the pillows that I can see. Um, But, like, you also got this work table over here with little flowers on it and books strewn around. And you got a library reference area up here on top of this balcony. Um, and you got like a little kitchenette over here with a sink and what almost looks like a bread box. I don't know what that is, but it's kind of cool. And like there's bunches of like cabinets way up high that I have no idea how they reach. Um, another portrait of a star store over here that's for some reason on top of a couple of books. <laughs> Just lots of the little details I'm noticing in this room. It's kind of funny as hell. There's also a memo board over here that I really wish we could get close up on and see a whole bunch of Easter eggs, but apparently that that's not a thing. Okay, but other than that, like that that's pretty much everything that I have to really talk about with this episode. It's a very straightforward episode all around, just Dash and AJ fighting and the students being caught in the middle, and its resolution didn't really resolve anything, but as I said... As long as they make it so that the competitions do not interfere with their work, they'll be fine. Okay. So, that's all I got for this week, and I'm going to see you guys next week. Of course. (laughs) And keep your eyes out for some other things coming out. Um, Last... Well, by the time you guys see this, uh, I should have put out a whole bunch of uh, Steven Universe episodes, I think. Maybe it was last week? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, at some point in here, a whole bunch of Steven Universe episodes should be going out. And there's two new Steven Universe episodes that I have to get edited up and put out there. And oh my god, that's going to be a pain in my arsenals. But I have to do it because I want to do it. <laughs> um, I got to react to Scooter Tricks at some point as well because there's like a Scooter Tricks thing that I haven't seen yet. And... I don't have time to do that today. I just have time to finish this up, so I'm going to say goodbye. Bye!